A factory packs fruit jam in cylindrical tins of radius 5 cm and height 15 cm. The tins are then packed into rectangular cartons each measuring 60 cm long, 30 cm wide and 30 cm high. 8. Determine the maximum number of tins that can be packed in one carton. 2. Max. B. An empty carton and an empty tin weighs 560 grams and 300 grams respectively. The jam packed in one tin weighs 990 grams. A pickup which can carry a maximum of 600 kilograms is used to transport the jam. Determine the maximum number of cartons the pickup can carry. For Max. C. The factory delivered a pickup full of cartons of jam to a retailer. The factory sells one carton to a retailer for 2,880 Kenyan shillings. The retailer sells each tin at 110 Kenyan shillings. Calculate the percentage profit made by the retailer. For Max. So that is the question. Let's go to the first part of the question. I determine the maximum number of tins that can be packed in one carton. So we're going to start by me just uh, draw a rough sketch of the cylinder and um, the carton. So let me begin with the cylinder. The cylinder has a radius of 5 centimeters, so its diameter will be 10 centimeters. So the height is 15 centimeters, then the diameter will be 10, since the radius is 5. So then re rectangular carton, let me sketch it, uh, rectangular carton, uh, this one, uh, the length is um, 60 centimeters, the width is 30 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters. Now to get the number of tins, we are going to take the number of tins that will fit into the length. So we're going to take a 60 divided by diameter. Then width, we do the same and the height. So let me start with the length. So 60 divided by 10. Those are the cylinders that will fit in the length. The one for the width will be 30 divided by diameter, which is 10. Then for the height, there's something wrong here. I did uh, write 15 centimeters as the height of the carton, which is supposed to be 30 supposed to be 30 let me correct that so the height is 30 so to get the number of tins that will fit there we take the 30 that is the height of the carton divided by the height of the cylinder which is 15 centimeters therefore um the number of cartons or tins uh, that will fill this carton will be given by 60 divided by 10 that is the number of cartons the length then that multiplied by that divided by 10 multiplied by 30 divided by 15 and these will give um uh, these will be the number of cartons are uh, the tins that will fit in the length which will be six then the width three and the height will be two when you multiply these you get 36 tins so that six tins are the ones that will fill this carton completely now that is the first part of the question let's go to the second part uh, the second part of the question um, <coughs> an empty carton and an empty me create space here uh, we're supposed to find empty carton and empty tin weighs 560 and 300 gram respectively the jam packed in one tin weighs 990 the pickup is to carry a maximum of 600 kg is used to transport the jam determine the maximum number of cartons the pickup can carry now with that information uh, you're going to begin by getting the mass of the empty uh, carton the mass of the empty carton is given as 560 grams that is the first thing I need to get the entire weight then from there we can get the mass of um, uh, 36 tins the mass of that 16 bearing in mind that uh, one empty tin weighs 300 so if they are 36 it will be 36 multiplied by 300 the 100 multiplied by the 6 you will give um, apply this you get this will be 1080 grams that is the mass of the empty tins then there is the mass of uh, the mass of jam in this jam 
the mass of the germ is given as um, and this mass of the germ of the 36 tins one tin the mass with germ will be 990 then you multiply by the 36 tins and this will give um, let me multiply these uh, get these will be 35,640 grams now I think now we have got the entire mass the mass of the empty carton the mass of that 16s which are empty then the mass of the jam for that 16s therefore one carton while full with the jam and the tins uh, will be so the total mass of uh, one carton uh, that is composed of the empty tins made uh, and also the jam inside all of them full will be given by we get the sum of the empty carton which is 560 we add um, 1080 which is the mass of the tins empty tins and then from them we add uh, the mass of the jam for that 16 so this will give the now the full carton while well, it is full with the jam of the empty carton and all these so the mass when you add these when you add these you get uh, for the these 47000 grams this is equivalent to 47 kg so one carton weighs 47 kg that is when has all these uh, all these things uh, with the jam so having done that we need to get the maximum number of cartons bearing in mind that uh, this pickup has to carry a maximum of 600 kg 600 kg and uh, if one carton is uh, 47 kg and this pickup has to carry 600 kg so what about 600 kg how many cartons will be here so to get the number of cartons we are going to divide take the capacity which is 600 kg divided by 47 kg which is uh, one carton and this will give um when you divide these get 12.77 of course uh, we are not going to round this forward we are going to round downwards uh, the full cartons will be 12 cartons we're not going to round these uh, forward downwards so that is the solution the other one is the part C um, the factory delivered a picker full of cartons jams to the retailer the factory sells a carton to retailer at uh, 2880 the retailer sells each of them at 110 calculate the percentage profit made by them so percentage profit uh, is given by profit that is uh, we get profit by taking the selling price minus the buying price uh, divided by the buying price multiply by a hundred that is how we get the percentage profit and therefore uh, selling price is what you don't have here so selling price is given by he sold uh, each tin at 110 110 so one tin so one tin you can see that um, some of them so one tin is um, 110 so what about that six tins uh, what will be the selling price of all these things so you just multiply that six uh, by 110 and we get these will give the selling prices um, 3960 now get the buying price so the buying price is given by it is given there 2880 so the buying price is given there so buying price is 2880 so we can get the profit having the selling price and the buying price we can get the profit easily and how do you get the profit so we simply take um, profit is given by the selling price subtract the buying price and this will give um, this will give uh, 1080 Let's give 1080 so that's the profit so getting the percentage profit will be profit uh, which is at 1080 divided by the buying price which is at 2818 then 
we multiply that by 100 and these will give um this will give uh, 37.5 percent and that is uh, simply how we are supposed to solve that question